Hello and welcome, this is Politic Revolutionar here to today with your Universalis 4 Mandate of Heaven. So we're just two provinces away from embracing the Renaissance objective being fulfilled. That will greatly increase the amount of um, points we get per month for Splendor. Frankly, I'm greatly appreciating how much splendor we're getting right now. I thought we were going to get a miser's worth, but fortunately we were able to get a large city through Hansiung, and we're going to get Embrace Renaissance soon. So yeah, we're getting five splendor already per month. We're going to get seven soon. Uh, we might take some of those. How's our AE, by the way? 172 with Mink. Otherwise, it's just fine. By the way, we paid off our debt by getting a ton of corruption. Which, eh. Where's Ferdan? For... Okay, sure. That just means that we need to wait for our truce to be up. As for this, we'll increase our stability. And if we see any other major rebellions other than um, Koreans, we can just raise autonomy. Still, I think most of this rebellion risk is due to our overextension. Let's fire him and see if we can get a national unrest. We can, but that's a level two. We can recruit a minister, which is a master recruiter, but no one really cares for master recruiters. Chakotai's at war with Uzbek. Oh, well, that basically means Uzbek is dead. We can ally the Timurids. Hmm. How are the Timurids in terms of army strength? Timurids have 20k. That's actually pretty good. Well, let's improve relations with Calm. I would like to ally them, to be honest. I don't really know why. So, does this have renaissance? No. Do you have renaissance? Not yet. Wait, which is the province that we're missing? Which is the province that needs renaissance? Still. This is the province, but which is the province that we just got that got renaissance? Also, poor Chagatai. They're getting attacked by Ming again. Oh, poor thing. Um, we're losing quite a bit of money right now. Why are we losing 11 ducats? Rooting out corruption is quite expensive. But, um, corruption actually gives you money if you debase currency, which is weird as hell. because it's um, effective development divided by um, total development. Okay, just got a ton of course. Um, autonomy, sorry. And that will tick down. So those are ticking down. 
those aren't really an issue. Yeah, these rebellions are okay. Can take another idea. Interest per annum. Um, should we take the idea or should we take the tech? I think we're gonna start getting unbalanced. Yeah, we've got unbalanced research, which is greatly hurt in our economy. So let's just take the tech. And next month we'll be able to get it. Okay, take that. That means that we're losing 0.95 per year. Which means our corruption will be zero rather soon. Or at least it'll keep on cycling in such a way that we don't lose everything. Okay, we just lost our generals. We still have the 121. Which to be honest is a great general. We could declare more on Chagatai again. Do we care really for Chagatai? I would prefer to just attack Ming eventually, but I know we can't defeat Ming head on. Oh cool, we've got Embrace the Renaissance. So, um, probably going to take Feudal to Jury Law. Cam would accept an alliance. Your arrival, so you wouldn't. No, thank you. Okay. So, if we cancel tributary with Ming and then they declared war on us, could we beat them? I don't think so. They have, yeah, 83k. Most of his infantry, we could like beat them in a one on one battle. Almost certainly. But, um. Any other instance, we would just lose. We do have a tech advantage, though, so. That's nice. There's Ashitaga who rivaled us. Speaking of rivals, our only other rival is Ashitaga, but it's not like we're going to be declaring war on any of these because then all of his vassals will come. And we don't want to fight the entirety of Japan. Yeah, I know it sounds silly, but we don't want to fight the entirety of Japan. Rat separatists. We're probably going to have to fight them. Unless if. Well, it's two provinces, really. So this province. And. This province. No. That province and that province. There we go. And y'all just go away basically. Okay. Our army reformer has passed away. Rip him. We're starting to get more from gold, which is excellent. Because I did invest quite a bit in the gold here. Take the staff hit.
Okay. I would love to declare war and then take Ming's capital, but that seems very foolhardy. Not until we get the adaptive terrain, maybe. Oh, we need more troops anyways. Really? Okay. Oh, another load. Shoot. I did not mean for that to happen. Well, we're going to get the adaptive train very soon. We can try starting a golden era, maybe. But I prefer a late game golden era. of reformation will start rather soon okay and we get to choose a new ability excellent yeah definitely take the adaptive terrain interest per annum I think we're going to actually take renaissance far let's just wait until we can get that tech Corruption's going down. It's cool. Should have the Reformation spawn though. Or no, not the it's of the Reformation. Whatever its edition is at 1500. Um, influence or diplomatic? Diplomatic's better for straight European or not European, so. get more states at the next um, attack, so that's going to be very useful. Okay. But well, what's the next institution that we need? Colonialism. Yeah. That hasn't spawned yet. That is so weird. Okay. How much... How many troops does Chakatai have? Uh, Chakatai is losing badly. It's still 16k, but... Easily beat them. Where's your revolvers coming from? Wait, what? Okay, very long name. That. Your, you leech, stop taking our admin points. Sorry, our monarch points. Don't have any vassals, so that was kind of useless, but I really need that cavalry combat ability. Cavalry, because, well, look at our army. Ship it 
durability. Are you kidding me? This is the worst ruler traits I've seen in a bloody long while. with you. Oh, you have no knowledge of us. Base currency in order to reduce corruption. Cause that's how this stuff works. We're at a hundred trust with Ming, so. seems very unlikely to give us an alliance. Let's improve relations with them. Recall from the Timurids, the Timurids are basically dead in terms of everything. And we have Korean separatists who are going to fire again, it seems. Searchers of Korea finished. 1505, three years. Okay, we can get this mill tech. That's probably going to cause corruption. No, it isn't actually. Very good. declared war in Chagatai to force tributary again. Are you like 300 development yet? I don't know. No, Chagatai is nowhere near 300 development. They have a pretty decent army though. Yes, free shock. X 
Excellent. Hopefully those were split in terms of their spawn. We can raise a host if we so wish. To be honest, with 28k we should be able to be any Ming army. Any individual Ming army. But then we'll have to reinforce it. It just gets ugly. Archers ends in February. Okay. Take more corruption. More corruption. Wow, strong airs horde? That's rare. How much mana points we need? 102. Oh, really? All in one province? Okay, we... We have to raise a host. We also probably have cannons. Let's get a cannon. brings us over a force limit? No. No, it brings us exactly two. Okay. That cannon and then those troops will be able to defeat Ming, probably. But first we need to defeat our own separatists. and then send them to this province. And there we have our cavalry combat ability. I think with that definitely we should be able to just break tribute.
think I'm good to take a break here, and then in the next episode, I'll probably declare warming. Depends on how much of a coward I am. But, either way, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.